Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 30, and our objective tonight is to add a mixed number and a fraction together. And there's a couple of different ways we're going to do that with our different homework problems. I'll probably go over three of them with you and sort of step through a fourth one together. Um, all of them are done in slightly different ways, and uh, you'll find one that fits best for you and that makes the most sense to you, and you'll be able to, you know, use that flexibility to solve these problems uh, as they come at you. Okay, let's take a look at a few. Problem number one just asks us to, one word, solve. Uh, I'm going to look at 1D, and that is 5 eighths plus 7 and 3 eighths. All right, easy enough. Let's see. So we've got our whole number, that's 7, and then we need to add our eighths together, right? They're the same unit, so we can add them together. We've got 5 eighths over here and 3 eighths over here. 5 eighths plus 3 eighths would be 5 plus 3, or 8 eighths. So 7 and 8 eighths. But I notice right away, hey, 8 eighths, that's just another whole. So I can just add that to the 7 and get 8, right? 7 and 8 eighths of something is the same as just 8. Awesome. Well, that's simple and straightforward. Good luck on the other problems in number 1. Let's take a look at another one. Problem number 2 asks us to complete the number sentences. And D asks us, 15 is equal to 4 and 4 twelfths plus what other fraction. Okay, well, let's see. 14 and a little bit more. So it looks like we're just going to add another fraction. And how many more twelfths would we need to get up to 15? Let's see. Uh, up to 12 twelfths and get up to 15. So let's see. We would need a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and eight. We would need 12 minus 4. We would need eight more twelfths. Eight twelfths. Let's think that through. If we had four twelfths and we added eight twelfths, that would make 12 twelfths, and then sure enough, we would turn in that 12 twelfth, that those 12 twelfths into a whole, and that would be added to 14, that would give us 15. So 8 twelfths is what we're missing there, and that, that will make this number sentence true. Awesome, let's take a look at one more. Um, I'll take a look at number three, but I'm just going to step you through what they did rather than solve an additional problem. I think there's only two other problems here in number three for you to work on, so I don't want to steal one of those from you. But let's take a look at what they did. The problem asks us to draw a number bond and the arrow way, which we haven't been using hardly at all here in fourth grade, to show how to make one and then solve. So we've been given this problem two and four fifths, and we're asked to add that to two fifths. So two and four fifths, well, Gosh, that's really close to a whole. All we need is one more fifth to make a whole. So what they've done here is they've taken that two fifths and they've broken it down with a number bond into one fifth and then whatever's left, the other fifth. And the way what that allows us to do is it allows us to start with two, two and four fifths and to use the arrow method to add one fifth to it to make it as an, a nice, nice, even, tidy whole of three. And then we had that other one-fifth to add in. Now that's easier to add. So we added just the part we needed to make the holes, and then we add the rest of them, so we create our mixed number of three and one-fifth. So take a look at 3B and 3C, and if, see if you can't do that. Break down the more complicated fraction into whatever you need to make this fraction whole, and then whatever's left over will be the last part of your, the fractional part of your mixed number. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem. Problem four. Look at these complicated directions. Solve. We're going to solve number uh, letter F, and that is 7 and, and 8 twelfths plus 11 twelfths. And here we're going to do the technique that we just saw in the last one. We're going to imagine to ourselves, let's see, how many twelfths do we need to help make this into a whole? Well, we've already got 8 twelfths, so I think that means we need 4 more. Let me see, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 4 twelfths would be really helpful. So we're going to break the 11 twelfths into 4 twelfths over here, plus what would be left? How many twelfths are left from that original 11? Let's see, 11 minus 4 would be 7, so that's 7 twelfths left. Let's see if that makes sense. 4 twelfths plus 7 twelfths would, in fact, yep, be 11 twelfths. Well, that's really good, because now it allows us to do this. It allows us to, to take this whole sentence and say, this is the same as, uh, let's see, 7 and 12 twelfths, right, plus the 7 twelfths. So what we've done here is we've said, well, 7 and 8 twelfths plus the part we needed makes 7 and 12 twelfths plus that last little part. And we can make this one bit simpler. We can change 7 and 12 twelfths to 8 and change, oops, and add our the rest of our mixed number. That's 8 and 7 twelfths. 
So if we were to add 7 and 8 twelfths to 11 twelfths, we could break up the 11 twelfths into a useful fraction, 4 twelfths, that'll help make us into 8, and the remaining part of the fraction, the remaining part of our mixed number, giving us 8 and 7 twelfths. Excellent. Well, I hope you've had another successful evening of working on the homework, and I hope you join me again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.